some this hour from Matrix Excel. So in this video, we are going to master normal distribution. So after this video, I can guarantee you, you understand like the basic concept of normal distribution, and then you will be able to solve the past paper IP questions. Okay. So this topic uh, for math center level and also uh, for a higher level, you all need to learn this concept. Yeah. So what does it mean by normal distribution? So that means like the data. When I say the data, they are normally distributed, right? So that means you will have the same mean, uh, median, and mode, yeah? Because we have a set of data, it's not necessary for them to have same mean, same median, and same mode, right? Yeah? So it's just that, like, coincidentally, I mean, like, uh, the distribution of the data, not coincidentally. So mean, median, and mode, when they're equal, so then that means the data, they are normally distributed. And this is the first thing you need to know. And the second thing you need to know is that normal distribution only deal with continuous data. Okay, so that means it's all real number. Let's say weight, height, and time. You can see that it's all like uh, it can be decimals: forty point one kg, one seventy six point five cm for height, right? But for discrete data, that means like it's a finite number. So number of boxes you cannot have uh, four point one boxes. You cannot have five point two boxes, right? You cannot have like two point one people, two point three people. So you can only have one box, two boxes, three boxes, three people, four people, five people, right? So that's a finite number. And for continuous dis distribution, so that is uh, <coughs> that is what continuous data is what normal distribution need to deal with, yeah? So, and there are four characteristics for a normal distribution, very, very easy. So uh, on your textbook, you can always see a bell shape, right? So this shape uh, for like the distribution, it seems like very complicated, right? Because this shape you're not familiar with but it's actually very easy after I explain it to you. This line, okay, that means mean, median, and mode because they have the same mean, same median, and mode like among all the data, right? So, so this is the, uh, the thing you need to know. And secondly, the shape of normal distribution is always bell shape. When I say bell shape, that means left is equal to right, symmetrical. So this area is equal to this area, right? So, and what does it mean by the area under the curve then? So area under the curve, it means probability and when I shape all of the probability here probability the maximum of probability is always equal to 1 right or you can say 100% so for this part if you have 50% then the left hand side would be 50% because they are symmetrical yeah and the value on x-axis they are from negative infinity to infinity so they are all continuous data and then going from negative infinity to infinity right so on your calculator then because you cannot type in infinity so we'll usually type in negative 10 to the power 99 and then for infinity here is 10 power 99 do you get that so finally mean median and mode they're all in the middle place in the middle line right so this is the basic characteristics that you need to understand but when it comes to question then you'll understand why we need to know all this so i'll show you the typical question right here so for type 1 probability finding questions, so in your calculator, we always need to use the function that is called normal CDF. I'll show you later. Yeah. So uh, in this video, I'm going to use the Texas uh, T1 in spot, uh, T184 just for the working example. Okay. But of course, if you're struggling with the um, like GDC, cal GDC calculator, so and the way to calculate this, or how to use your calculator, you can just go to uh, YouTube and search like GDC HAXL. So you find my video there. So I, I'll... So basically in that video, I teach you like all the application for like different topics. So you can just go through normal distribution. Okay, so let's get started. So for this question, the weights of student in HAXL, they are normally distributed. So always remember, I mean like you can always notice that the question, they will always hint you that is related to normal distribution topic. The reason why is that is not all the data, they are normally distributed. They must mention normal distribution. So whenever you see this, the keyword right then you will come up with the technique that I that, that I teach you right so and the weight is like continuous data of course in a question I mean you don't need to verify like uh, the subject here is a continuous data or discrete data okay so all you need to know is just refer to this word so whenever you see normal distribution so they will so they'll give you information you have to search the information for mean mean is equal to 64.6 .6, so that means the middle line here is 64.6 .6, right and also we have a standard deviation. Standard deviation is 1.44. So all you need to know about standard deviation is just like the difference away from the data, like away from the mean. So we can just uh, see it as like how spread the data is, right? If the number is like larger, then that means like there are more widespread, right? Okay, so like 
for uh, this one, you need to know. Whoops, sorry. Okay, so uh, okay, so basically, like for this question right now, we have the mean. Mean you just need to know like the uh, symbol for this. Okay, so this basically is u means the mean, sixty four point six, and the standard deviation is a circle thing, one point four four, right? So find the probability that the student weighs more than uh, seventy kg. So it's very simple like question in your IB exam okay so this is usually like two marks yeah so all I all you need to do is just draw the sim, draw the uh, normal distribution diagram right so it's a bell shape and the middle line here is 64.6 right so where is 70 kg 70 kg is right here on the right hand side because like all the number on the right hand side would be more than 64.6 so you just write a 70 kg right here yeah and what you need to find out is the probability. So as I just mentioned, probability means the area, right? Area under the curve. So more than 70 kg, obviously, is like 71, 72, and 73. So we have to shade on the right, yeah? So we have this. Then, uh, then how do you calculate the probability then? So you just need to use your calculator. So take out your calculator. So I will show you the way to calculate it. So on your Texas model, uh, on your Texas model, you can just go second bar. So um, and then you go normal CDF, yeah. So for a Casio model, you just go to like statistics and then uh, try to find out like normal distribution. And you need to you you'll be asked to uh, type in the lower bound and upper bound. So o lower is just seventy, right? So we have the number here. Then you ask me a question: What is the upper bound? Because we don't have a number here. Because as I just mentioned to you. The normal distribution deal with the continuous data and it goes to infinity. So when I say infinity, you can type in 10 power 99, right? And how about the mean and standard deviation? Mean is just 64.6 and then the standard deviation is just 1.44. So then we'll have the answer, which is uh, 8.84 e negative 5. E means 10. So 8.84 times 10 power negative 5. So what does that mean, negative 5? So that means like we have 5, 0 in front of that. So alternatively, you can write 0 0.000. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 8, 4. Yeah? So that means we have a very small chance that people, that's the student, weigh more than 70 kg. So do you get the idea? Because the uh, like this is a typical question in IB exam. So let's do question B. Find a probability that a student weighs less than 49 kg. Yeah? So 49 kg, how do you do that? So draw the uh, distribution diagram, normal distribution diagram. So 64.6, and where is 49? This time you tell me on the left hand side or right hand side. 49, obviously, less than the mean, right? So less than that is 49. And then what do you need to shade? Because everything less than 49 kg, 48, 47, and so on, so you shade left, right? So what is the probability for that, uh, for, for this one? So just turn on your calculator and go to second bars and we go to CDF, yeah? Always remember, for normal distribution, finding probability, you always need to use CDF. So always ignore the PDF stuff here, yeah? So you never use this in your uh, like exam. So for lower, lower is negative 10 power 99. Why is it? Because it's negative infinity, right? And how about the upper, uh, the upper limit? Upper limit is just 49. And how about the mean and standard deviation? So it's the same thing, right? We did not change the question. So, then type that in, you will have zero. So probability is equal to zero. So it's just that, very simple. And then finally, uh, for question C, find a probability that the student weighs between 50 and 70 kg, right? So um, you just draw a diagram here, and then the middle line is 64.6, and where's 50? 50 is on the left-hand side, and then on the right side, 70, and you shape in the middle, right? So. This time you already know how to work it out because the lower is 50, upper is 70, mean and standard deviation, they're the same. So um, it's just that easy. So 50 and then 70. So and same mean standard deviation. Yeah. Okay. So 0 0.999. So 0 0.99991. So but we all know that in IB exam, they, they usually ask us to uh, like present the answer in 3SF. So how do you write that? Because this obviously is more than 3SF. So when you round it, so many students will just write like 0 0.999. Okay, that's obviously wrong. Because even you write that, you know that is wrong. Because you just don't know how to deal with the 9 right here, right? So if you round it, just write 1, right? Because it's 3SF. So bracket 3SF, that's it. Okay, so let's do one exam question. Then, then you will understand like uh, how the exam questions work. So it's actually the 
same. So cross out B and C because uh, this concept I still haven't taught you yet. But uh, I mean like in this free, free video, so I'll just focus on the A part, finding the probability. So if you want to learn more, you can uh, join my free trial lesson. So you can just click the link below, okay, in the description. But right now, just focus on this question. So I'm pretty sure that you already, like you can deal with this like 100% on your own, yeah? So a random variable X is distributed normally. So you know that's normal distribution. All we need to find out is the mean, U is equal to 100. Standard deviation is equal to 10, yeah? Okay, so find the probability x is smaller or equal to 113. Smaller or equal to 113. Very easy. So just draw out the line and then this is uh, like 100. Okay, so and then 113 less than that. Okay, less than or equal to that. So uh, this one, then you know that the lower limit and upper limit will be this. But I know that like in your mind, so maybe some like advanced student that will usually ask me a question. So what if they give me x smaller or equal to 113. So, like, would that make a difference? Because one is like equal, one is uh, one does not equal to 113, right? So, do I need to write, like, change this number to x smaller than 113 because 113 is not count? So, I need to change it to 112? No, obviously not because we're dealing with the continuous data. So, it's not discrete data. So, whatever. So right now you understand why is it continuous because they are the same. 113 equal or less than 113, they're actually like all lies on the same line. But if you're saying discrete, then you cannot like draw the same line on that because less than 113 has to be 112, right? So if that, if that we're not talking about the normal distribution. So right now you understand why I need to mention continuous data in the first place, okay? But that's just for concept use, okay? In the IB exam, they won't ask you in detail like why we need to use uh, continuous data like in normal distribution right because it's not like IA yeah so for question A then what is the answer so I believe you know how to solve it right so uh, just go to second bars and then normal CDF and the lower you tell me the answer so it's negative 10 power 99 yeah so and then how about the upper so it's 113 and the stand the mean it will no longer be 64.6, .6, change number to 100, yeah? And standard deviation is 10. Okay, you got it? So 0 0.903. That's it. Easy, okay? So I hope the video, uh, you find the video helpful. And if you want extra help, you re uh, remember to go to check out the description, uh, like um, in, in my YouTube video, yeah? Okay? So, of course, like if you're a Hong Kong student, uh, I hope to see you next time in our center, okay?